All right, Adam Benini in South Florida, Vic Carucci back in Buffalo, 21-19. The Miami Dolphins hang on to beat the Buffalo Bills in this thing. Between the heat and a very extensive list of injuries, Vic. I mean, the players and coaches won't use them as an excuse, but I don't think there's any question. My take anyway is that a healthy Bills team wins this game. I agree with that, Adam. I think they're still the better team, but they didn't have their whole team, and that was a factor. Yeah, they made mistakes, and, and there's sting and frustration out of this game when you see a drop touchdown pass, a drop pick six, a missed field goal in a game that was this close. You can't ignore those factors, but you also can't ignore that the Bills came in severely undermanned and played this game down to the last play. You look at the Bills offensively, Josh Allen's the first to say it, pointing at himself and his teammates afterwards, saying they did as much to beat themselves in this game. Uh, and, and the execution, not finishing drives in the second half, certainly speaks to that. But Miami's defense had a lot to do with it, too. Give them credit. That was a, an impressive scheme. Highly impressed with what the Dolphins did defensively to take away those big plays and force the Bills to take what was there, which was those check down throws, a lot of them that Josh Allen made. Devin Singletary having that career high nine catches, game high with that. And that should tell you all you needed to know in terms of how the Bills offense was functioning. They were moving the football, they were accumulating a lot of yards, but they weren't getting in the end zone. And there were mistakes, of course, that contributed to that uh, by everybody on offense. But overall, uh, yeah, this Dolphin defense, where those long plotting drives could have worn them out. They did hold up enough. You look at the stat sheet, I mean, so dominant for Buffalo, that adds to the frustration. But an area that I thought that Miami would really exploit was the Buffalo secondary with players like Waddle, who, yeah, they, he hit him deep on the 48-yard the completion that set up the go-ahead touchdown. But Tyreek Hill, they really, this secondary, given the injuries, did a very good job of kind of keeping them in check, I thought. Again, you're talking about a secondary that was missing all of its starters, okay? To, to, and then during the game, even had additional problems with health. But to think of the fact that Jaquan Johnson and DeMar Hamlin held up reasonably well. I mean, no Micah Hyde, no Jordan Poyer, the two, two of the better safeties, if not the best safety combination in the league. Uh, you don't have them, and maybe with them, you don't see that waddle uh, play uh, that that obviously made a difference but overall you give the Bills defense credit for keeping an offense that shredded Baltimore the previous week six touchdown passes by Tua Tungavailoa they were the Bills defense was uh, pretty whole pretty solid for missing so many players Injuries will be a factor as we continue to look toward the Baltimore Ravens matchup now next weekend. Josh Allen, again, said he was fine after having his hand x-rayed uh, after the game. I asked him directly, and Sean McDermott confirmed that, but that's obviously a situation we'll keep an eye on during the course of the week. For Vic Carucci in Buffalo, I'm Adam Benini in Miami, Channel 2 Sports.